On day 12 of my 21 day road trip with my best friend Justin, we left Slovenia crossing the border into Austria to spend some precious time in the countryside. For three peaceful days, we enjoyed the best of life in rural Styria, exploring Brook Undermere and bonding with my friend Nat, her husband Brian, and her son James as we celebrated her mom's birthday. There are goats! As soon as we arrived, we dove into party mode, enjoying delicious Austrian dishes and live music at a mountaintop restaurant with a tremendous view. Bright and early the next morning, we set off to Bärenschutzklamm. This four and a half hour long hike starts with an hour of regular trail walking through a misty forest, after which you pay a small fee to begin navigating a network of slippery wooden ladders that make this difficult mountain terrain accessible to those of us who aren't experienced rock climbers. I'm completely obsessed with how many waterfalls there are here. They're so pretty. Not even halfway there. <laughs> this unique trail provides you with gorgeous views of the many waterfalls that speckle the landscape. And even though it was a challenging climb, I thought this portion of the hike was outrageously fun. We're trucking now. We're on flat ground and there's no stopping us. Except that it's super slippery. <laughs> All right, 10 minutes from the first hut. And no more ladders. I like the ladders though, I'm gonna miss them. Hey, this is a wild strawberry and it's teeny tiny. That was awesome. How does that have that much flavor? I want it. I don't care if it's not done, it's mine. Oh, so good. And in true Austrian fashion, there's a random restaurant at the top of a hill with no car access. Well, they can get here by car, but no one else can. <laughs> We're four minutes away from beer. I don't like beer, but it still seems desirable in some way. That's a huge beer. Apparently, delicious restaurants perched on mountaintops are a bit of a thing in this area, so after hours of sweaty hiking, we indulged in a deeply satisfying hot meal. Mm, yeah. Ooh, noodles. Okay, yes. It has been a gorgeous, gorgeous day. We are topping out at about eight miles for today, maybe nine. We're not quite done yet. <laughs> um, but we're going back down the way we came now. Uh, you don't go back down the ladders, it's too slippery and dangerous, so don't do that. All I want right now is chocolate. All the chocolate. All right, so we're gonna see how chocolate is made. Oh boy. This is the tasting spoon, so we can taste chocolate. This is good sugar. That is kind of good, actually. That does get bitter when you chew into it. I had one of these. First impression, <laughs> Justin's like, yay, this tastes perfect, don't add anything. This is milling powder. Let's see. Ooh, that's more chocolatey. All right, so as we go along, they're gonna get more and more chocolatey which means we have to try each station. It's better, right? Mm-hmm. It's getting better and better. That first one was real bitter. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Look at the chocolate. So here we can try chocolate. This is a basic, just like, milk chocolate. So we have vegan coffee. I'm overboard with the samples. But I've been craving chocolate for days. Chocolate fountain. That's it. Oh, there we go. So now we have chocolate fountains. 
every which way, where you can try lots of different chocolate. Ooh. Every single one of these stations is chocolate to try. Any kind of chocolate milk you want, and it comes on a conveyor belt. This is adorable. And now we take our hot milk with our chocolate, and we're gonna mix it up. What did you get? I did caramel. I did so it's literally a bar of chocolate. Mix and mix and mix. Woo! This is spicy. There's yeah. chili in that chocolate. There's chocolate everywhere. This place is a done. Each of these little gold things has chocolate in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Justin. Oh my God. So flavors have yet to repeat themselves. I don't know what any of this is. Oh, this is the chili kind. Woo, this is spicy. Oh, have you died yet, Justin? Apple, banana, pineapple, and apples in chocolate? Mm. No. No to pickles at this place. No. After the chocolate experience of a lifetime, we enjoyed a rainy stroll around the Green Lake. In the spring, melting snow floods this park, increasing the lake depth from 1 meter to 12 meters deep. Tourists used to be able to scuba dive in the crystal clear underwater park, but unfortunately, water sports were banned when tourism became too damaging to the environment. Thankfully, you can still enjoy the park when the water levels are low. We topped off our time in Styria with a truly Austrian gourmet meal that was so delicious it completely changed the way I travel. I never cared much for delving into local cuisine back when this was filmed in 2017, but the food we were treated to in Austria opened up my palate and I have been a foodie ever since.